Makeup, 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 makeup. Hello my lovely YouTubers, it's Cynthia. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my favourite makeup products from your local drugstore or Priceline. So I have all of my favourite makeup products in this little makeup bag and I'm going to go through them via category. So let's get started. So the first category of makeup I want to talk about is concealer and I actually have two favourite concealers. This first one is by Designer Brands and this concealer is 607 Natural. The reason I love this so much is because it's very reasonably priced. I believe it's about five to six dollars. It dries very matte. Not only does it help with dark under eye circles or under eye bags but it really helps with redness and any blemishes. So for me this concealer is an all-round concealer, one that I can wear when I'm having a bad skin day or a good skin day. And as I said before, it's it's really, really cheap. The second one is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, and this is number 40 Soft Beige. The reason I love this one is because it doesn't dry as matte, but it definitely stays in place all day long. It has great coverage. It really, really hides dark circles and under eye bags, which you guys should know by now, I have very, very, very bad under eye dark circles and under eye bags. Thank you, mum. So this really, really helps to hide them. Both are great. Both are very reasonably priced. However, this one I would wear on a more day-to-day -day basis if I don't have any uh, redness or blemishes whereas this one I would definitely wear if I do have blemishes or redness because I do find that this one covers it a lot better than this one. Next is foundation and same goes for foundation I have two favorites. First one is the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation and the reason I love this is it has great great coverage and it lasts all day and it just looks natural. It doesn't look as natural as this second one that I'm going to talk to you about but it does still look very very natural and this one I feel like gives a bit more of, of a healthier glow than this one and funny enough it actually says that on the front of the bottle. Anti-fatigue effect and radiant glow and it also smells nice. And this one is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, and I have this in 54 Beige. This one is definitely more of a natural look. If you don't like the look of having a lot of makeup on or heavy makeup on, this is definitely the one to go for. I know that the majority of you are school students, so if you're not technically allowed to wear makeup to school, but you do want to wear makeup, I would recommend this one because you can barely tell that you've got makeup on, but it still covers up blemishes, redness, and everything. It's not just, what's the point in having it on? Like, you can still see it, but it's just a lot more natural looking. So again, out of the two, I would wear this one if I don't have as much of a bad skin day, and I definitely wear this more in the hotter weather when I do still want to wear makeup, but not as much. And this one I would wear if I do have blemishes or redness. And again, these are both really reasonably priced. They're both around the $20 mark, which for a foundation is pretty good. Next is eyebrows. And I personally prefer eyebrow pencils. Some people do use a powder, but me personally, I prefer a pencil because I find it easier to sculpt my eyebrows when I use a pencil. And again, I have two favourites. First one is by Designer Brands, and this one is 162 Brunette. The reason I love this is, honestly, I think this is like 3 to $4. It lasts all day, it's very, very pigmented. And yeah, don't know what else to say about this one. This one is still just as cheap. I think this is about $6. And this one is the Astralis pencil. 
and it's um, the dark brown pencil. This one isn't as pigmented, so this one is really, really easy for when you've got to quickly fill in your eyebrows or you're on the go, whereas this one, I think this is a really good beginner's eyebrow pencil because, because it's so pigmented, you can really build with this. Um, apply only a little bit to see how you like it, and you can gradually build it to the darkness that you actually want your eyebrows to be. So, both reasonably priced, they last all day long, yeah. The next product I want to talk about is eyeliner, and I'm really sorry guys if you are pencil eyeliner people, I absolutely hate pencil eyeliner, I just don't like it, and I only use liquid eyeliner, so the only eyeliner that I'm going to talk about is liquid eyeliner, so sorry. And the liquid eyeliner that I really, really love is the Rimmel Glam Eyes um, liquid eyeliner in the shade 001 Black Glamour. And there are a few reasons why I love this one. Number one, it has a really thin brush at the end, which I find is super, super easy to use because you can really play around with the actual shape of the eyeliner that you want. It's so much easy to do, so much easier to do a cat eye or you know like a flick with um, a small brush. Second reason why I love it is because it's very reasonably priced. I think off the top of my head, I think it's about eleven or twelve dollars, which is pretty good, especially because you get a decent amount of liquid eyeliner in the little bottle. And the other reason why I love it is because after it's dried, it doesn't crack. If you guys have tried a few liquid eyeliners, you'll find that some of the cheaper ones, after they've dried, they start to crack, especially throughout the day. And this one doesn't do that. It stays and put perfectly. For me, I use this every day, and this one usually lasts me about two to three months. About two to three months. So, love it. Next makeup product is blush and again I have two favorites. The first one is the Maybelline Fit Me blush and I have one in the shade medium pink. The reason I love this is because again very reasonably priced and it is super pigmented. Whenever you have makeup that's super pigmented especially in a powder form it lasts so much longer like the lifespan of the actual product lasts so much longer because you don't need to use that much. And the other blush that I love is the Rimmel, um, Rimmel London blush, the Lasting Finished Soft Colour Blush in the shade 190 Coral. And I absolutely love this. It's, it's very pigmented, not as pigmented as the Maybelline Fit Me one. Off the top of my head, because I don't remember the prices, I do believe that the Rimmel one is cheaper. And I find that the Rimmel blushes, especially the coral one, it looks so natural. Both great products. They last all day. Pigmented. Great price. Don't know what else to say. Next product is a bronzer. Now, I, to be totally honest with you, I haven't tried that many bronzers. However, I do really, really love this one, so I did want to include it in the video. And it's the Bourjois Bronzer with the mirror that swivels around. That one. <laughs> and I have this in the shade 12. And again, it's very, very natural looking. I find that most bronzers have like a bit of a sheen or shimmer to them and this one doesn't. Very pigmented, lasts all day, yeah. Again, I don't really know what else to say about that. And I just like the packaging. I like the fact that there's quite a large mirror and it swivels. <laughs> Next item is mascara and before I show you the one that I do really like I have had quite a hard time trying to find a, a mascara that I really really love. The majority of the mascaras that I've ever used um, either leave black under here like it falls off throughout the day 
or it creates this like black smudge like up here every time I blink. So I found it quite hard to find a mascara that doesn't do that and this one doesn't and it's the Maybelline The Falsies and I have this in, I have the waterproof one. It lasts all day, it doesn't leave black smudge under here or up there, it's really really dark, it doesn't clump and I think that it really helps to add volume to your eyelashes and for someone like me who has barely any eyelashes this is definitely the one to go for and again it's very reasonably priced for a mascara so love this one and that's everything I hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these products let me know if let me know what your favorite makeup products are I'm always on the hunt to try new makeup products if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that not only did you like it, but lets me know to do videos like this in the future. Have a good week, guys. I love you, and see you next time. Bye.